Hi guys, Eddie here with Naritude for Bender. In this one, I'll show you how to uninstall and install properly hard ops and box cutter, and also I'll show you what kind of settings I use for these add-ons. Okay, so if you want to check if your um, you know whether your hard ops is up to date or not, you can go to hard ops menu here on the top and click on this menu, and it will tell you that it needs update. So we're gonna uninstall it and install the new version. So of course you need to download the zip file from the website you bought it from, so Gumroad or you know uh, Blender Market, etc. And you need to uninstall them first. So we're gonna go to our add-ons, and we're going to first untick this box, okay, for box cutter and for hard ops, right? Okay, and then save preferences, and we're gonna close Blender, all right? Then we're going to open Blender again. Let's put it in here. And go back to Preferences. And go to Add-ons. So Hard Ops. And click on Remove. OK. And then Box Cutter. Click on Remove and OK. Save Preferences. You can refresh if you want to. Now we're going to install the new versions. So let's go to add-on folder and install Hardops Mercury 20. Gotta wait a bit. And there it is. And box cutter 17.2 Claymore. And save preferences. Don't rush these, okay? Just you know, wait for the tick to appear and just you know, have patience because uh, you might get some errors if you're not patient with it. And now we can check our version is up to date, and everything is peachy. Okay, now guys, so let's set this thing up. So first of all, hard uh, hard ups. You know, you can check here if the um, if the add-on is up to date. You just click on this option here. You can see current version, and the things I'm gonna change are just a few ones. Okay, so I'm gonna tick on this uh, panel here, Auto Panel T and Auto Panel N. Now this option will enable and disable these uh, kind of slide them outside these uh, N and T panels. So when you work in a bevel, for example, or like on a modifier. Uh, they're just gonna disappear, okay? Which is kind of cool because you can read this H menu here without any problem. So that's one, two. I would enable box cutter notification. So when I, so this uh, option will an allow me to see the notifications of the box cutter on the bottom, you know, and just basically tell me what's what's happening on my screen, right? Which is really handy, okay? And you could enable this blank matte simulator viewport, which basically will change uh, matte colors in the viewport. So if I go Shift M, uh, I mean Alt M, and Shift click on material scroll, you know you can see that these colors are, um, are a little bit colorful, right? But if you have this uh, option enabled, they're gonna be a little bit less uh, less colorful, more toned down in the grayscale. So it's up to you, whichever you prefer. Um, I don't really care. Um, there's also one cool options for users who prefer the V-Ray behavior, uh, I mean V1 behavior for array. I have a video on this one, so look up the um, the box cutter uh, playlist on my YouTube, and there is a video in the, the very ba uh, the very first series on hard ups I did, and I discussed the v V1 array, it's a bit more, I mean it's different than v V2, so you know, whichever you prefer, you can change it in here if you want to, right? Now, box cutter, um, there are a few things I want to change, and one of them is actually these options on the input. I want to turn on the uh, right uh, right mouse button to cancel angon and preserve alt, right? And uh, these are pretty cool. So, um, when you uh, cut with an angon, right? So, let me just make it a little bit thinner. And, you know, you, you, you go here and you create a lot of points. Uh, it's it's a pain in the ass to simply, you know, press backspace and go back in time to the first or second point or whatever. I'm an impulsive cutter, guys. I need, it, I need this shit to fly. So, when I have a lot of points, right click, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's gone. And that's what I want. I want speed. So, I, I really like this option. And... Uh, the second one is a bit less known to most of you guys, I think, and it's this alt thing. So let's say that I'm going to turn on, on this um, snap grid here, okay? So I have to tick all these options. And let's make it a bit smaller with control. So hold control and scroll your mouse to maybe something like this. There you go. Let's go with the box. And I'm going to start drawing from here like this, okay? But when I press alt and hold it, you can see that the, uh, the drawing... Um, center shifts from the corner right to actually um the middle of this shape 
Now, when this would be useful is when you want to add a ray to it. So, if I, for example, hold, held control and drew this uh, box and then press V, you know, twice, I'm going to get something like this. But you can see that these are misaligned, right? Now, if I actually do the same thing, right, and then hold Alt, okay, and then press V twice, you can see that they're aligned now. And that's what this Preserve Alt thing does, well, among other things. But that's that. And it basically what it does, it switches between... Um, um, the draw point so you draw from a corner and you draw from the middle yeah so that's what it does kind of handy so i like it and then of course i changed the the size of uh this um, grid to 0, 0, uh, 0 0.05 because i think the the 0 0.25 is just too big one more thing that's quite important is the uh, angle snap so let's grab a cube and let's say that we wanted to cut it with you know with an angle right so let's go to the menu, switch to angle, and you know, you can see that now I don't have any ang angle snapping, it's just kind of like a free fold, you know what I mean? So you, I want you to hold control to get this thing to snap. But it's very rarely that you're going to be drawing an angle in a freestyle that, you know, doesn't snap. So it's easier to have it in reverse, which means I'm going to go to the, mo uh, the menu and go here and click this option here, which is angle lock, meaning now, whenever I draw an angle, it's going to snap to an angle. And if I don't want it to snap to an angle, I will press control and it will stop stop snapping. Yeah, so it's kind of like a reverse snapping, right? So now it's it's in the perma snap. And if I press control, it simply releases this angle lock, which is the way I like to work. OK, uh, let me think if that's all I do. Oh, yes. Under edit preferences, what you can do if you want to, you can change the um, the display behavior. So, for example, if you want, this is the uh, FPS of the cutter. So how fast, you know, the cutter is going to be drawn. It used to be 30 FPS in the older versions of hard ops. Now it's 60 by default. Uh, but, you know, you can you can pump it up if you want to, if your system can handle it. And, you know, depends on the refresh refresh rate of your screen. Mine has 100 megahertz, so 90 will do me, right? So, you know, it's just simple, simply it's just fast, faster drawing of these cutters, yeah? Now let me turn this snap tool off. And now, you know, once I'm set with my box cutter and hard ops, all I need to do is save the preferences. So I'm going to go here and default start my, uh, save my startup file. And I'm good to go. Uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video give us a like and sub if you did there are links as usual in the video description to all kinds of add-ons including box cutter and hard ops so if you would like to buy these go through the links you're gonna help me as well thanks for watching catch your next video